Lawless, y'all doing something over there. Wait a minute. If she wears 490, how am I wearing 490? It does look really, 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 really good. Okay. As long as you are practicing and you're doing the exact one thing, like, <laughs> Duh. This stuff is phenomenal, man. We all going age, duh. But don't you want to do it gracefully? Oh, yes. I haven't worn her in a long time. Oh, my God. I've neglected her. Ew. What up, it's your girl Minna, and welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to go over my picks for the Sephora Memorial Day sale. Now, if you like me, you're like, what? I don't know if this is something that they do every single year. Maybe I just haven't noticed it. If you know that they always do this, comment and let me know, but it just came to my attention and I was like, hold on. Let me share with the girls what I pick for the sale. This list is not gonna be extensive. It's really favorites of mine in a few categories you're gonna enjoy. So if you are excited, then I want you to keep on watching. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and on TikTok, same name, Mina underscore Adibia, and let's get into the video. So I have put everything into a Magic Links page for you. So I will link that for you down below. And then you can look at the different categories. First category is makeup. Okay. Now, none of these should be a surprise to you. None of them should, but if you're new here, then it will be a surprise. Now, if you're like distracted, I want you to know that this is my soft glam everyday look. I have videos of that here on YouTube and on IG. I also just finished filming a video on how to apply eyelashes and also how to apply eyeliner. So make sure you watch those videos while you're here. Okay. This wig I will link below in case you're going crazy. Okay, when it comes to makeup, the first thing on my list is this Lawless One and Done Mascara. If you've been here, then this is not a surprise to you. It's definitely my favorite mascara. I've gone through several of these. I love the wand. The mascara is thick. If you like mascara to go on in a thick fashion while also elongating your lashes, then this is perfect. If you like mascara to go on in a thin fashion, perhaps not do too much to your lashes, this is not going to be it. I have it on right now. I love for my bottom lashes to be thick and long and this gets me there every single time. I used to love the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara which I still do like. The thing about it though is it was better in my opinion when it was used because the more air that went into the tube the thicker the product got and then it gave me the finish I wanted on my bottom lashes whereas this one first use it gives me exactly what I want which is thickness, plumpness, and then the added length. It is just so, so good. I love this. This one crept up on me, yo. I try new things all the time, as you know, for what I do, and you just don't know what's going to be what. And this one, it has kept me happy every single time. I love this mascara, okay? Lawless, y'all doing something over there. Next is this Fenty Pro Filter Foundation. Now, we all stand Fenty, right? We all stand the Fenty Pro Filter. Now, <laughs> years ago, I used to wear color 450, which is insane to think about because it just tells you that I have gotten so dark being here in Houston, which I do not mind. I love my melanin skin. I have no issue being darker. In fact, I enjoy it. I think it's fun. I look forward to in the summertime getting darker. I don't run from the sun. I just stock up on and keep around my foundation colors that are going to be darker because in the summer, I'm going to get a little deeper. You feel what I'm saying? So I finally found out what my updated shade is in the Pro Filter Foundation, and it is 490. Now, if you watch Ohima Bonsu, she uses 490. She's a lot darker than I am. Maybe not a lot. You know, with our cameras and settings you never really know like you have to see someone in person but i know that she has deeper skin than i do right so one day i was watching her video and i was like wait a minute if she wears 490 how am i wearing 490 however you already know with the way that i make things work i'll finesse it, it, it which by the way i recently realized it's i'll finesse i thought it was happiness Comment and let me know. I bet you I am not the only one. If you know, you know, okay? So, you know I finesse, I make things work, okay? So 490 is dark, which I like because when I put everything together with my concealer and face powder, it all comes together. We've talked about this several times in different videos where there are several shades of foundation that I can wear 
that I can make work. But I usually am more satisfied with my makeup when I'm wearing a foundation that is a shade or two darker than my skin tone because of the way it all comes together in the end. And I say that because this is darker than my skin tone, my face, not my neck and chest. We're not discussing neck and chest right now. This is darker than my face and it does all come together and it does look really, 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 really good. Okay, and it's matte. Hello, blend it quickly. Great for the summertime. We all need to have summer foundations and your winter foundations. Watch the video I did recently on that specific topic, but definitely for the summertime, honey child, you wanna add this to your list, okay? Now you already know I've been killing this one size Patrick Star Versatile Powder Foundation. This is the color Dark 4G. I'm nervous to open it because it's broken, but I would be remiss to throw this away. It is that good. I do have two on backup, but I'm not gonna waste good product. This is golden, Dark 4G. The G is for golden. For some reason, I don't know if it's a popular color, but I know that there was a time during the April sale where it wasn't available, but I did just recently stock up, so I guess it comes and goes. I love this shade. When you look at it, it looks like it's not gonna work for me. It works so well. Also note that in a different video, I explained to you how I use my face powders. So this is not meant to match my face. It's meant to finish everything off, if you will, to add color, add golden bronziness to it and just make it all look amazing. So that is the step where I use this powder. Watch my video on face powders to understand what I'm saying more. But that shade and the powder itself, because it's a powder foundation, added coverage, looks soft and natural, does not look like I have on a mask. Don't be fooled in thinking that all these different steps are gonna mean that you look like a psycho. No, you're gonna look freaking amazing. As long as you are practicing and honing in on your makeup application and you're doing exact one thing, like, <laughs> Duh. Next is this Say Airspun Radiant Loose Setting Powder in the color Translucent. Now there's been some confusion on IG because I shared this and the girls went crazy, which you really should because I used this for the first time in a video where I was trying out new things, obviously, which is what I do, right? And I was like, oh, I hope this is not gonna make me look like the Tatcha Radiant one did because it was just too much. This blends in and melts on the skin so seamlessly. It is fantastic. I use it all the time. This is actually from my makeup kit in the bathroom. So when I'm getting ready in the bathroom, I mean, I use this just about every single day. It is, it is done. Okay, this thing is done, all right? I actually just restocked on another one. This came to me in PR and I just restocked on another one because it is that freaking good. It blends, it's amazing. It's a soft radiance. It melts into the skin. Now, I do recognize, which I, which I didn't know before, is that there are three different translucent shades. There's translucent, there's translucent medium, and maybe translucent dark. I didn't know that. I thought it was just this one, but. I'll have you know that this is translucent, period, okay? That's the one I use. I'm not using the ones that have color to them. This is the one I use and love. I use this on my highlighted areas before I apply my face powder. This stuff is phenomenal, man. It is so good. And Say is a new company, isn't it? I love it. Listen, when gifting goes superbly, it just makes life easy, you know? Now, another foundation that I just cannot put down. I know that in my video, when I talked about changing your makeup from winter to summer, I talked about putting this down and then I tried and I couldn't, okay? You also saw that I did a campaign with them on IG, which I was excited about because I genuinely love the product. I used it here first when it first came out. This is the Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation and it's the color 4N74, also known as Espresso. Love this so freaking much. This color is perfect for me. It's neutral. It's a smidge deep, but not like this one is deep on me. Like meaning when I say deep, I mean, it's a smidge darker than my skin tone, but not tremendously. It is in a way that is just beautiful. It is a hydrating foundation. Don't consider hydrating foundations greasy. It's not greasy. It's hydrating. So this foundation was perfect in the winter time, but I've been making it work now, even in the summer. It's spring, but girl, in Houston, girl, we, we in the 90s, okay? This is summer to me, okay? I have been making this work even now because the color is perfect. It looks airbrushed. It looks flawless. The skin is fantastic. And I just blot. I just blot. I have blotting sheets in my bag, in my car. Just freaking blot. Who has time? The skin looks so healthy and so great. I wore this in Dubai with a mask in February every single day 
day, my face looks great. Of course, I had to blot, right? I wore a mask. It did not come off. It did not, it, like my face stayed. Watch my Dubai vlogs, you'll see. I had this on every single day under a mask and it still looks great. I wore this on a trip to Rhode Island when I went back home. Actually, the time when I was going to Dubai and I believe the wear test was 12 hours, 14 hours, something like that. And it still looked phenomenal at the end of the day. So if you want to see that video, make sure you watch that wear test video. Just search Mina HD skin wear test. You're going to find it. Okay. Or go on my page here on YouTube. This is just so freaking good. So I just can't get rid of it. I'm now I'm not going to be using my other hydrating foundations this summer, but for now, I really have been using it still. It's the color, it's the finish, it's the whole thing, okay? But if we're talking matte amazingness as well, then certainly the Fenty Pro Filter, hands down, just bomb, okay? Another item in the makeup category is this brush from Sephora. I use this brush quite often. I've actually given it a break because I use it so much, but I still do love it. This is the number 70 brush from Sephora. It's a flat kabuki, very dense and great when you wanna pack on products product and get the most color payoff. So if you're trying to sheer out your foundation, then you're going to want to use a damp beauty sponge. You may even want to use a stippling brush. Stippling brushes came out when I was freelancing at MAC and I haven't heard much about it these days. It's usually folks using a damp beauty sponge with their foundation to sheer it a little bit. Doesn't mean you're going to go from full coverage to light. No, it just means that you're not going to get the full coverage application if you're using a damp beauty sponge. And if you want to know what I mean by that, look at my video where I talked about applying foundation with with a damn beauty sponge. I love full coverage. I wanna get the whole payoff on the whole shebang. So I, for a long time, was using this brush to apply my foundation. I have different iterations of flat kabuki brushes. This is definitely one of my favorites, okay? And this is from Sephora. And of course, you can grab this during the sale because why not save some money? It's just really, really good. I also have used this to apply my cream contour because the shape is small enough where I can do that. And it's also good enough to apply your foundation. You can either be swiping it on, but I more so like to pack it. If you're not new, you know what I mean. If you're new, I do apply it in a pouncing manner to really pack on the product on my face, okay? All right, and last but not least are these Lawless One and Done Concealers. Again, Lawless does it again, like does it again. I tried this out for the first time and I was like, wow. The texture of these concealers is whipped in the sexiest way. I can't even explain it. It's whipped, it's beautiful. I've been using this nonstop in my bathroom. The tip of the wand is flexible, which I love. God, they just are so good. It's full coverage. This is my favorite concealer right now, okay? I use the colors Clove and Mink. In fact, I did a, what I believe now has gone viral, IG Reel, where I was showing you how I carve under my eyebrow and I was using the Lawless Concealers and y'all loved it. I mean, it just looks so good. I use it for my under eye. I highlight all over my face with these concealers when I'm getting ready in the bathroom. So I use Mink to highlight my face because it is a lighter one of these two. It's not too light, but it's light enough where it just looks really, really good. So I use Mink to highlight my face, T-zone under eye, right? And then under my brow, I normally don't like for the brow highlight to be too light. Although today I did go a little bit light, but I softened it by putting my face powder under my brow. I digress. So under the brow to highlight, I like to use Clove. It's a little bit more dim, so it's not as light as Mink is. And on my skin tone, it looks really, really beautiful. It's still highlighted, but not too light. So it looks good. You get what I'm saying? Gone are the days for me where my brow bone highlight is too light. Like I'm just over all of that. So I love to use the two different colors to really bring the face in together. These concealers are so good. So full coverage, you don't need much. If you're someone that does a very minimal look, but you still wanna get full coverage to perhaps cover up a dark spot or blemishes, uneven skin, what have you, then going full coverage and taking a little bit of it, blending with your finger, girl, you're done. Like you're already done. You could probably take this just on some spots of your face, blend, blend, blend with your finger a little bit, dust some powder on or powder foundation and really be good to go. You know what I'm saying? So I love these. You definitely should consider this concealer if you're in the market for a concealer.
And now let's talk about the body, okay? First, let's do the face. Recently, you may have seen that I did a sponsorship with Peter Thomas Roth, and this was for the vitamin A, C, and E retinoid treatment. Now, for me, everyone should be using a retinoid. Obviously, you want to start off slow, make sure you're not going to have any type of adverse reaction to it, but when you wanna fight fine lines, you wanna fight uneven skin tone, you wanna fight blemishes, you wanna fight all of it. I mean, we all gonna age, duh, but <laughs> don't you wanna do it gracefully, a retinoid is gonna get you where you wanna go, okay? Now this I was using for two weeks straight every single night and I can't lie, I was kinda like, dang, it's not gonna be too harsh on the skin. It was not and I'm not kidding you. I have not been using my antibiotic cream treatment that I have from the dermatologist for my rosacea. I have not used that in almost a month now because I've been using this every single night and I have not had an adverse reaction. I'm just so shocked because this is a retinoid, okay? It is strong in the greatest way, not strong in the way where you're gonna break out with like your, your skin falling off, but everyone is different. You wanna do a patch test, you wanna start off slow, but I've been using this every single day and it is fantastic. You can certainly cushion this by perhaps putting on a serum, maybe a hyaluronic acid serum and then putting this on if you're concerned that it might be too hard but this stuff works, it's almost done, first of all. And it is so, so good. So if you don't already have a retinoid in your routine, this is certainly one I recommend, especially during a sale. Also, I have been enjoying this Pharmacy 10% Waterless Vitamin C Serum. If you're not already using a vitamin C, you need to use a vitamin C. I do get lots of questions about how to lighten up dark spots. And I've said this time and time again, the first step is finding out what is causing the dark spots, right? So something is causing the blemish on your skin, which is healing with a dark spot, right? We're not gonna wake up with a dark spot. You either had a pimple beforehand, a scratch, a rash, something, that then when it healed, your skin in that area was dark. And there's a lot more to that, but that's just the nutshell breakdown, right? So you wanna figure out, is it rosacea, is it acne, is it something else? Let's tackle that first, and then worry about the dark spot later. Because if you're gonna be reactive versus proactive, you're gonna continue on this cycle, and it's gonna feel like you're never gonna get your skin where you want it to be. But let's go back to this vitamin C serum. You wanna be using vitamin C every single day in the morning, because this coupled with your SPF, powerful antioxidant protection, you wanna really be protecting your skin against the sun, harmful UV rays, right? I sound like a, an HSN commercial, but it's the fact. You see what I'm saying? This just pairs really well with an SPF. What I like about this is it is an oil vitamin C. So it's waterless, which is true. You, you might use vitamin Cs that feel hydrating on the skin. They melt in, they feel like a water, not literally a water, but you get the analogy. Whereas this one feels like an oil, it's waterless, which I think is just so nice. It's going to add a dew to the face. If you you don't like that, then this is not gonna be for you. But if you appreciate a little bit of a do, I like this. Of course, you're gonna follow up with a moisturizer and then your SPF. Or if you wanna go the shortcut route, then you wanna follow up with the moisturizer with SPF in it. Either way is fine. Just make sure, of course, you are wearing an SPF. I mean, I wear moisturizer in the summertime no matter what, so I suppose you could do this and then SPF, but I always wear moisturizer, so you know, that's that on that, okay? Now, let's talk about body. I have two options, two products, same brand, but two body products that I am in love with. You know that I did the sponsorship with Sal Gennetto and I enjoyed it so much. I love this brand, you've been knowing that. We've been talking about Sal Gennetto and that is how you say it. It's not Sol de Janeiro, I used to be her and I'm no longer, you know? First is the new body moisturizer that they have, Beja Floor, and I don't know how to say that correctly, so I could be wrong. Elasta Cream. This I love so much, it's just about done. This is so florally, it's perfect for the spring, summer. It's gonna accent your fragrance in the greatest way. I like to wear this at night because it doesn't leave a, I don't wanna say greasy, cause greasy has a negative connotation, but I like greasy and I'm gonna get to that. It doesn't leave a dewy residue afterward. So it's great for the nighttime because you're not gonna have to worry about your bed sheets getting all dewy. Not greasy, zooey, you know? So I love this and the fragrance is good and the hydration is there. So this is really, really good. I have been enjoying it especially. The fragrance of it is fantastic. Yes, you can wear this in daytime too if you don't like to be dewy on your body. 
This is great also for the daytime, but I enjoy it at night. Now for the daytime, honey, I have been loving. I still love the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. I haven't gotten rid of that. I have all three of these in my closet where I get ready after I shower. I do love this one though. For a while, I slept on this one. This is the Coco Cabana Cream, baby. I didn't realize that out of all of them, this is the hydrating one. I was just, when I first started buying these, I was buying them based on the scent. So all I was buying was a Brazilian Boom Boom one and I didn't realize it's like, oh, this is the one that's gonna leave my skin dewy, not greasy, dewy. You feel what I'm saying? It's gonna leave with that shine and it feels so good. This does feel like a drink of water on my skin. It's more gel-like. This one is creamy, the pink one. This one is more gel-like and I'm almost done. God, the scent is they're all fantastic. Comment below and let me know if you've tried any of these. I know you have, come on now. If I've taught you anything, you have tried one of these creams. Hello. This is so stinking good. It's a gel and you know, gel melts into the skin phenomenally, leaves that amazing dew. You want your arms, your chest, your legs to shine this summer, baby. You need to use this one. They all smell fantastic. You don't like the shine? Go ahead and grab this one cause the floral is fantastic for the summer and the spring, honey. This one's also good. Coco Cabana is gonna get you there, ya. Mm, 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 mm. Comment and let me know which of these two you've tried or if you plan on getting any of them. All right, and last but not least is fragrances because you know your girl loves a good fragrance, hello. So this fragrance that was sent to me, God, that I love so much is Maison Margiela Replica. It's Bubble Bath. I love this so much, it's insane. It is right on my counter. It is perfect for right out of the shower or after you've lotioned, whatever. It smells fresh. It smells like a delicious bubble bath. It has comforting, clean accords. It is phenomenal. It's milky, creamy, and fresh at the same time. I mean, think of that, milk, cream, fresh, all the things, so, so good. And another one whose bottle is so, so sexy, we have not forgotten about her, is Marc Jacobs Perfect. The bottle is so sexy, and this one also is giving cream. I feel, I can't think of the chords, we're not doing the chords, we're not doing notes today. This one is so good too. Oh yes, I haven't worn her in a long time, oh my God. I've I've neglected her, ew. A few similarities with the two of these, but definitely different. Mm. It's also creamy, I'm reminded. You know I love Marc Jacobs Perfect. I'm reminded why I love it. Wow, so good. Both fresh, creamy, delicious. You wanna be delicious? You need both or either of these, okay? Just fantastic. And then I recently, I'm getting into the Kaali fragrances. I started off with Juicy Eden, Eden Juicy, Juicy Eden Apple, whatever. And then I purchased the sample set. Two of the fragrances in the sample set that I have loved, the other two are like, okay, I love these two in that sample set. It's also gonna be linked below in that one major link that I'll have for you. The two that I love are Utopia Vanilla Cocoa 21, Deja Vu White Flower 57. So, so good. I have been killing Deja Vu White Flower. I am going to purchase the larger version of these two because they are just so freaking good. Deja Vu White Flower gives me sexy, sophisticated, and Utopia Vanilla Cocoa, think of it, vanilla, coconut, creamy, also so good. I love the idea idea of that four piece gift set because then you can try four of them out. The other one is vanilla and then the other one is, I can't remember, but I like these two out of them. So, so good. Easy to put these into your purse, Obvi, for this summertime. Touch yourself up when you out in the streets. You know, the whole thing. So that is my roundup of what I recommend for this year's Memorial Day sale. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna link two videos here from you for you to choose from to watch now. Make sure you subscribe, give this video Video, a thumbs up, follow me on Instagram and on TikTok. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.